Hey everyone, welcome back to my wife's 2024 Honda CRV Sport L Hybrid. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks to maximize your fuel economy. I know a ton of people on the internet are not impressed with these um, as far as uh, fuel economy numbers and what they're putting out right now. So I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on uh, what to do to solve that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we'll start on the outside. As you can see, the most important part is the tires, making sure you have the proper inflation on all four of your tires. As fall and winter have came and passed, it's important to check your tire pressure. If you don't know what to inflate them to, be sure to check out the placard on the inside of your door that tells you what to inflate it to. Number two that's super important, reduce clutter. I know a ton of people that just keep pretty much their entire lives in their car. That stuff adds up, you know, you could add two to 300 pounds worth of cargo in the back of your car without you even realizing it. And uh, you know, that's like, you know, an extra person or so. And everybody knows when you add weight to a car, the miles per gallon goes down. So let's talk fuel economy. So over the past 9,299 miles, my wife has been averaging 35 and a half miles a gallon. And if you go to trip A, you can see how everything's just been progressively climbing up, um, you know, as the weather is warming up in Northeast Ohio. So something to keep in mind is hybrids do not like cold weather at all. In order for you to get heat, hybrids have to run the engine a lot more in the winter. And, uh, you know, as a result of that, you get less fuel economy with the engine running more often. Um, so something to keep in mind is to make sure your climate is adjusted properly. I'm not saying to shut it off, um, but I'm making sure, you know, you're not having it all the way up to 80 degrees um, in the summer or in the winter. As you can see, I cranked it up to 80 degrees and the engine literally just kicked on. So that's a perfect example of why climate matters um, in your CRV hybrid or any hybrid of that matter. And same can be said for in the summer too not cranking that AC all the way, you know, making sure, you know, when you get into the car, it even says it in the owner's manual too, you know, roll down the windows real quick and let all the hot air out um, just so the AC system doesn't have to work as hard. So this isn't a hyper miling video um, because I think everybody should be comfortable while driving a car and, you know, driving a car shouldn't be painful. But th this is just more of a video of just some basic tips and tricks uh, to get the most out of your CRV hybrid. I've been pretty impressed with the fuel mileage of this thing. I mean, 35 and a half miles a gallon in a vehicle this size is nothing to scoff at. Um, the Toyota RAV4 hybrid, yes, it may be a little bit more efficient, but this is just semantics at this point. Um, it, it's close enough. Um, the window sticker here from Honda says this gets 37 combined city highway, uh, 40 city 34 highway um, and we're right at 35 and my wife has a 28 mile commute to work um, it's partially highway partially city with us just coming off of a winter um, I'm extremely happy and recently we've been getting 39.2 um, in this 121 miles that is on this tank at the moment that's real close to that 40 miles per gallon number so no complaints there at all. So another super important trick that I have found that's greatly helped the fuel efficiency of this vehicle is keeping it under 25% power on the power meter. And only do this if you don't have very much traffic behind you because you do not want to tick off other people behind you. You don't want to be a douchebag in traffic. Um, you know, it's that, that's, that doesn't help anybody and it doesn't help yourself. But if you can, try to keep it under 25% power and that significantly increases the fuel economy. I don't mean to throw my wife under the bus here, but um, I know she wasn't for quite some time. And then I you know, found somebody on Reddit that uh, said you should do that. And I'll be darned, um, as soon as she started doing that, it started climbing right up. And you know, follow the speed limits on the road. Like I said, you don't want to impede traffic. You want to keep you know, within the flow of traffic, but follow the speed limits on the road. Leave earlier um, so you're not rushing to get places. Plan ahead. Um, speaking of planning ahead, use coasting. This thing has regenerative braking and that's how the batteries charge. That's how the hybrid battery charges is, um, you know, up from the motor and also regenerative braking. So use that to your advantage. Like right now, I haven't even touched the brakes. I just used the paddle shifters to come to this railroad track here and we're charging the battery. And charging the battery it helps keep the, that engine off, especially in city scenarios. Regenerative braking is a great tool to use, just make sure you're using it. So if you bought this car thinking you're gonna get 40 MPGs on the highway, uh, you, you, you made the wrong decision. Um, you know, hybrids are not made for highway usage, you're made for city usage. If you're interested in more fuel saving tips, you could also, you know, dabble in the world of hypermiling. 
Um, th those people take fuel economy pr pretty seriously and do some pretty pretty crazy stuff and can get pretty crazy numbers out of out of things. But um, you can look that up for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like. It helps promote the video to others. You know, like the YouTube algorithm is more keen to pick it up and promote it to others. Um, if you enjoyed it even more than that, please consider subscribing. I do tons of car reviews on all different makes and models, uh, but this is my personal CRV. And I like to do you know ownership impressions as you know as time goes on coming up on 10,000 miles so the 10,000 mile review um, will be coming soon um, feel free to check out my other videos on the CRV as well I did a 5,000 mile review and a POV first impressions um, and a snow test as well um, I'll be sure to link those in the description below so you can check those out at your leisure um, but yeah more CRV content will be coming soon be sure to follow me on Instagram at Paul's Place YT for some additional content and behind the scenes and we'll go ahead and see you in the next video take care everybody